Hey guys, and welcome back for those that are coming back and for those that are new here, my name is Laura and we are going to be doing something that we do here often, which is a book thrift haul. I go book thrifting very, very often in case you haven't been, you know, around for very long. I do these hauls so often. I should probably stop. Will I stop? Probably not. I should. I should stop. But anyway, let's get into what I got. I have some amazing finds here. And honestly, I was really, really shocked to find the books that I found. But I feel like I say that all the time because thrifting is so hit or miss. But anyway, let's get into what I found. As you guys know, if you've been around here for a little while, my favorite local thrift bookstore is Good Stuff Thrift. Now, generally their books there are $1.50 for paperback and $2.50 for hardcover. And then if you go over to the YA section, the paperbacks are $1, hardcovers are $2. But they've been doing something weird at like the local store here. So they're trying, it looks like, to split their books up by genre. But they still have, okay, so you walk in and there's still like a large just assortment of books. And then they have like a little romance section and then they have a signed collector section and then they have classics and Christmas and there's just, they're trying to split it up and, but there's still like a good majority of books that aren't split up. But what I found really, really strange, so I went over to the romance section and all of the books in the romance section were a dollar. And there were some really good finds there. So I'll, anyway, I'm going to show you what I got. I do have some really good romance finds. I was very, very shocked. But anyway, let's jump into what I actually got. I do still have the price tags on these ones. They're little stickers. But I did end up, okay, rewind. I did end up getting all of these books. So all these books, I have 19 books here. And I got them all for $36, which is mind-blowing. So that's like not even $2 a book. It's somewhere around like $1.80-ish. So how crazy is that? Anyway, let's jump into what I got at Good Stuff Thrift. Sorry, guys. I am, <laughs> my brain is all over the place. But I first have here Someone We Know by Sherry Lapina. And I've only read one of her books so far, but I have other ones on my shelf. So I did like the book that I read. I do have, you know, it's mentions here, The Couple Next Door. That is on my TBR shelf behind us. So I'm excited to jump into more of her work because like I said, I did really enjoy the one book I read and that was um, one of her like earlier books. So I'm excited to jump into this one. And this one actually has a sticker on it. That one was $1.50 because it was in the general section. And then I have here, so I am going to be doing a reading vlog with both of these. And I'm like super pumped to open these up because I have no idea what they are. And they are two blind dates with a book. So you can see there, one says $1.50, which is a hardcover. This one's a hardcover. And it says domestic fiction slash humor on the side here. And I'm super excited to open this up. Now, when I do the reading vlog, I will read this to you guys before I open it. But I do want to do a reading vlog with these two separate. But anyway, this one was $1.50. But the day I went was half off orange stickers. So I got this one hardcover for 75 cents. And then the other one we have is fiction slash humor. And you can see there, I got this one for a dollar. So I got it for 50 cents because it was half off. This one is a paperback and I am just super excited to open them. I'm super excited to do the reading vlog on them. Obviously, I have no idea what it is and I love jumping into books blind like you guys know. So super excited about those. Then I have here my romance books that were a dollar. Let me see right here. Romance books that were a dollar and they are all by one author except for one which is the first one here and that is The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. I'm not joking with you guys. A dollar and literally it is in great shape and there's you can see their spines really good so dollar for that one. And then these ones obviously were all a dollar too, but these ones are all by the same author. I did look them up and they are part of a series, but they are 
interconnected standalones. And the author did say that you could read them, obviously, as interconnected standalones. You can read them individually, which is what I plan on doing because I don't have all of them here. I don't even have the first one here. But they are books by Jasmine Gilroy. And I have, I think this one's the second one in the series. This one's The Proposal. This one is Party of Two. And then the royal wedding and all of these covers are super cute again dollar for those ones then i have the bride test um, by helen huang and i actually have the heart principle on my shelf up here you guys can't really see it but i only need the kiss quotient now and i'm really looking forward to starting this series i've heard really really good things about the series but this one odd because this one is also a romance but this one was a dollar 50 instead of a dollar don't know why that was and then i have this one which i've never heard of but the title piqued my interest so i pulled it out and it is the loose ends by carrie firestone you can see this here and i paid two dollars and fifty cents for this one and I believe, I don't know what this one is about, but I believe, again, I could be wrong. This might be a special edition. It might just be how all of them were, you know, printed and done. But if you take off the dust jacket here, look how cute that is. I don't normally take the dust jackets off to look at them, but the top of it was sticking out. And it is just absolutely adorable. Again, I don't know if it's a special edition or not. It may not be. It may just be how all of them were done. But it is absolutely stunning. It is stunning. But anyway, that one I got for two fifty. Let me put the dust jacket back on it here. Okay. Then I got this one, which is the one I think I was most shocked to see, and it was two dollars and fifty cents. And it is a Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I have not jumped into any of Taylor Jenkins Reid's work yet. But I am excited to because obviously I've heard really good things. She's all over booktube. She's all over book talk. So I'm excited to jump into this. Although I did hear that sometimes people don't like this one as much as they love her other books. So I'm curious to see what I think about it. Then we have this one I see a lot of places and I believe it is a historical fiction but it is beautiful. Yes, it's a historical fiction. And it is Beneath a Scarlet Sky. And this was only $1.50, which hardcovers are usually $2.50. So it was only $1.50. If you can hear my kids, I'm sorry. My husband is downstairs playing with them. <laughs> but it is a beautiful edition too. So I normally, like this is a book I see a lot at thrift stores. But this one has like the little bookmark that's in it there. And then... They probably all have this, but it has the map inside and then the cover without the dust jacket. I am just finding really great books that are beautiful without their dust jackets. How beautiful, right? And I don't know. I thought for $2.50, it's absolutely stunning. And I haven't found an edition like this one. So I had to grab that, especially for $1.50. You really, really, really can't beat that one. And I do love historical fiction. I'll probably be jumping into more historical fiction since it's like fall. And I don't know, historical fiction kind of gives me fall vibes. Maybe I'm the only one that thinks like that. But historical fiction gives me fall vibes. But I really, really love historical fiction. And then I have another book that I have been waiting to see in a thrift store because I do have the first two. So I only needed a third one and I finally found it. And that is The Choice by Nora Roberts. I picked up the other two in a thrift haul previously. And I'm excited to jump into these ones because this is a series that a friend who has very similar reading taste to me recommended. So I'm super excited to jump into these books very soon. But those are all of the books that I got from Good Stuff Thrift. Now I went to one other thrift store and I got some books here. Um, and that was, I believe it's called Second Avenue Thrift. Now they are just a little bit pricier than Good Stuff Thrift normally, but they are buy four books, get the fifth free. And I went in and I don't know what I was thinking. I went in with both kids. So my brain is already like frazzled going in. Like, is the baby going to cry? You know, are we going to cause a scene? I take snacks with us to keep Grace occupied normally, but we normally have a half decent time out and about. Grace did throw some food, but it is what it is. That's what happens. Um, but anyway, we went there and their books are 
I would say the majority of them are like $3.99. And again, it's buy four, get the fifth free. And you know, my brain was so frazzled that I bought eight books. I bought eight books because I was thinking buy three, get the fourth free. And I bought eight books. Um, but I'm not going to count the free one in this one because I did buy a book for Grace. So she has the free one technically. But let's jump into what I got there. And I have to say, you're going to see like first up here are some mass market paperbacks. And I am not someone who buys mass market paperbacks. I just don't. They've never really piqued my interest. But I have a couple here and I'll explain them as I go through them. So this first one here is One More for Christmas by Sarah Morgan. And you can see there, it's a really pretty cover here. And I am starting to pick up Christmas books and their only Christmas books they had were mass market paperbacks. So I grabbed this one, I grabbed another one, which you'll see soon. But I also looked on Goodreads before grabbing this one because I have never heard of this author, number one. Number two, I want to read some really good Christmas books this year. I am like going to be stocking up for Christmas because Christmas is just my absolute favorite holiday is my favorite, you know, season. I just love everything Christmas. So anyway, this was the first one I got. I believe this one was $1.99. Um, not quite sure. I didn't keep the sticker on it, but that was the first one I got. And then the other one is just in time for Christmas by Carolyn Brown. And I have heard of this author, but I've never read anything by her. But the Goodreads reviews are amazing of this one. So I am super excited to jump into it. And look at the cover. I just absolutely love that cover as well. So I don't know, I'm really excited to jump into my Christmas books this year. So these are the first two Christmas books in my collection so far. And I am just, I already just want to read them. So those are the first two. And then I have here, I wasn't going to grab it, but I decided to grab it because again, this one has really good reviews and it is Little Lies by Nora Roberts. Now this, I have to get the first and second book because actually there are two books in this. So the books in this are Skin Deep and Without a Trace, if you can see there, and they are the third and fourth book in a series. And I didn't know that grabbing this. I just saw it and I was like, I want to try another one of Nora Roberts books other than the fantasy that I have here. So I grab this one again. I always just grab books that are like in the middle of a series or at the end of a series. So I have to grab books one and two, but they do have one book that contains book one and two, like this contains three and four. So I will be grabbing that as well. And then this was the main reason I looked in the mass market paperbacks because normally I just don't even look there. But I want to start this series so bad. And that is Cheryl Woods, A Sweet Magnolias novel. So I want to start A Sweet Magnolias series because I did watch the TV show. I have one season to catch up on, but I do not watch TV. Ever since I started reading again, I do not watch TV. But I will watch the new season that just came out not that long ago. But the two books I got, now this is a longer series and I don't know where these books are in the series. But I am working on collecting all of them so I can read them. So this one is Sweet Tea at Sunrise. And then this one is Honeysuckle Summer. And I figured I have a better chance of collecting them in the mass market editions than I do in the regular editions. So those are the two I grabbed in those and I will keep an eye out for the other ones in the series. And then the last two I have here, I never thought I would have found at a thrift store. I've been looking for this one forever. And this other one is a fall read. So I wasn't expecting to see many fall reads because I imagine a lot of people are trying to pick up as many fall reads as possible right now. And this first one is Playbacks A Witch by Lana Harper. And I know this may be the first book in a series as well. But this one has one that has been piquing my interest. I believe this one's on Kindle Unlimited as well. So I grabbed that one. And then the last book I have here for this thrift haul is the one I've been looking for for like literally forever. I was debating on buying this off of a Facebook group. And I'm really glad I didn't because I got it for a steal too. I got it for $3. And that is The Push. And this author actually just came out with another book. I think it's called The, the Whispers maybe. Um, maybe wrong. But I really, really, really want to read her books. I've heard absolutely phenomenal things about both of her books. So I am super excited to jump into this one. And you best believe this is one I'm going to be jumping into very, very soon. Because like I said, I've been waiting to read this book. 
So those are all the books I got in my thrift book haul. Again, I got 19 books for $36.00. You can't beat it. I always say, if you have a local thrift store near you, make sure to go check it out because if you don't, you never know what you're missing. So thanks guys for sticking with me for this video. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more thrift book hauls or just like bookish videos in general, make sure to join us, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you around and I will see you guys soon.